here. Let me lay it down so they'll understand well, come what on you're with saying. It, then, Rick. This is my question to y'all out here. If me and you are partners, if I'm if I'm in here with you know, you could use our, our, us as a as a as an illustration, but just you and your your old lady, your one of your partners. If you have a partner, do you, you do do you have the mindset uh, is that my op is your op? Meaning. If we start kicking it, you my old lady, and I don't like this nigga over here, I don't want you on the phone with this nigga, on following him on Instagram, Facebook, no net. Same thing with me. If my old lady, you know, um, baby, you know, I don't like uh, uh, Shantae at the job. She always picking on me. She don't met with nobody else. Then when you come in, she flirting with you, giving you, you know what I'm saying, brownies and cookies and stuff. I can't get a brownie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, you all out there smiling in her face and stuff. I'm gonna be like, well, baby, you know what? If, if, if she your op, she my op. I go, you know, there's a difference uh, in, 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 in us out here. Uh, you feel like that, you know, if, if, if a person ain't done nothing to you, then that ain't your op. If they haven't done nothing to you, then, then, then you don't have to, you know, ride with your, the other person that you're friends with. I don't subscribe to that. My thing is, if I'm your partner and I don't mess with this person, I expect you not to mess with them. Maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong, Behind? Yes, because at the end of the day, you could be messing up somebody's money, okay? Because you're so busy trying to be cute. But what I about don't you like messing so up? So. But what about you messing up my money when you dealing with them in the first place? That ain't got nothing to do with your money. It might does, okay? I can give you an example. Come on if with I it. can give you an example right now. If, like you say, you if you had a guest hypothetically, yeah. and I said, well, like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not coming in because because uh, that's my op. Well, then I lost money for Beehive to pay me because Beehive don't went and booked. <laughs> on the, he know I come in every Monday. You know that's my payday. Why book my up? Now I can't get paid, so they didn't mess my money up. <laughs> well, no, buddy, this is a whole different situation. No, no, that's, you that's, just that's, brought that's it you in. You just said that it don't mess, it, it, it'll mess your money up, but what about my money? Because now I'm not able to sit here and do an interview on Monday because you don't book somebody you knew was my up. Well, see, that's the issue. First of all, you got too many ops. That's number one. You see what I'm saying? I don't, for the that's record, the I don't have any you know, ops. For, yes. <laughs> for the record. It, uh, you know, first of all, these ops, I'm just so sick of them that's already. That's the young word. We got to be here. We got to be here. <laughs> okay, okay. Because, yeah. see, we used to call them haters. What are they yeah. playing haters? Uh, Bitch, I pull the ad in. Oh, yo. And, uh, yeah, P I'm P with that. Yeah, exactly. No, that, I definitely understand what that is. Yeah. But, you know, I just don't understand that. I see that a lot with people saying, you know, I might be scrolling up and down on Instagram. Somebody be like, if you mess with somebody you know don't like me, then I don't like you either. And it's like, partner, I don't know what you did to that person over there. And I don't know what that person did to you. All I know is that neither one of y'all done did nothing to me. So leave me out your bullshit. Yeah, but see, but see, here's the deal. And I get that behind. And I'm going to get back. You know what? I got a perfect example for you uh, for this whole situation with Gucci. Uh, I want to say Lil Durk and I think uh, um, NBA, NBA Young Boy. Young, but I'm okay. going to get, I'm get back to that. that. My thing is that you say, okay, you look on the internet, you you see this person say, well, if you mess with this person, then you don't mess with me, right? Okay, the reason a person may say that, it's just like, okay, say for instance, if I'm dealing with, uh, I'm single. Mm. I got me two, three girlfriends. You know, I'm a little player. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm Mr. Roper from uh, Three's Company. Okay, now. What's that Mr. Roper? with that Larry? I'm Larry. <laughs> I'm Larry from Three Company. Yeah, yeah man. So, but anyway, uh, I'm kicking it and say I want to put this put this chick on, you know what I'm saying, probation. Time out. Yeah. She got a demerit. She did some foul. Yeah. She's going to stand in the corner with a dunce hat on for, you know, three weeks. Mm -hmm. If I look up behind you, got her at the club with you when I got a show, now I can't put her on probation. That's right. Because you are you are undermining yeah. Pippin. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I feel but no, you. For real, but for real, on the real, don't, no, you're undermining. You know what I'm saying? Well, my relationship with this particular person, and what you're making it, you, you're making it to where it's easy for that person to have access to me that I don't want to have access because you're dealing with them. You understand Ooh. what I'm saying? You get that now? Well, see, now that makes a lot of sense. But then also, I'm going to have to agree with you on this side of the street as well. You know, a lot of times with a lot of these people in the streets and just different relationships, they had, when it comes to those ops, right. it's because that op has literally killed a few of their friends. 
So now if that's the case, if you're talking about somebody that has killed people that you know and love, and you okay. don't want me hanging with somebody that's killing people that you right, know, right? I kind of understand that. Right, 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 right. Because you got a real beef going on with this person. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that was the only time that it kind of made sense to me. Even still, it's like, you know what? I ain't got nothing to do with that beef either. And I shouldn't have to be picking sides in the middle of it. But I can see why people would feel that way. Because if the hate is that deep rooted to where people are dying over the situation, right. then I kind of understand why folks want you to pick sides. Well, well, yeah. And like I said, you know, when I was telling you about the Gucci, the um, uh, NBA young boy, and the little Dirk thing, yeah. at one point, uh, I, I'm not sure right now. I, I peeped into it. Somebody sent me a, a couple of articles on it. You know, a lot of people send me stuff yeah. so that I don't be up on. But uh, from, when I, from what I had read, I think that uh, NBA young boy, back in the day, he had had a song. It was something, uh, I'm Gucci. Yeah, he thought he was Gucci Man in 2006. I think I'm Gucci Man. Yeah. That was the name of the song, right? Yeah, I don't know okay. the name of the song, but it was Damn Show Jam. It was something like that. Yeah. Right. So, and so now, from what I understand, is now he has a, no a, a disc record. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now he has a disc record over Gucci, from what I understand. him Them two are going back and forth because Gucci is riding with Lil Dirk. From what I understand. Now, I don't know that to be 100% true either. Because yeah. I don't run with none of them. Yeah. I think Lil Durk is the finest young rapper out. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I'm a bigger fan of Lil Durk than I am of NBA Youngboy and Gucci. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's how much I, I how, what I think of Lil Durk. Yeah. And what I think that he could go to. Of course, you know, for him to go to that next level, he's going to have to make some, you know, uh, some, some changes in his style. He's going to adapt with the times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see how age he, uh, how well he ages yeah. but as far as right now I'm leaning toward him as number one in my book some people gonna say NBA young boy yeah. some people gonna say the baby yeah. you see what I'm saying yeah. and little and baby, baby. Yeah. right so we got all that but uh, I subscribe to the notion is this here if if we're, if we're doing something uh, that that's making money mm. you know money money can you know uh, like you say death yeah that, yeah. That's what I'd have given. Yeah. Beehive, somebody don't kill somebody, you know I ain't exactly. riding with them. But yeah. even if it's about money, Beehive, if 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 I come over to your camp, I come over to Beehive Television, then I ain't on these other nigga podcasts unless they paying me, you know, this amount of money. Then I'm saying, hey, Beehive, you want to go over here with me? Yeah. So we can talk about this right here. You ain't going to be able to, I'm not, I'm not, it, it ain't going to be no doubt in your mind, you know what I'm saying, where I ride with. They yeah. wouldn't know that when I came through the door. I'm coming in with the Beehive third so I'm representing yeah. Us. Yeah. Other, other than that, I'm not doing it. Yep. You, you understand no, what I'm saying? You on that. Right. Some people don't feel like that. It be you, everything's a stepping stone to them. Yeah. There's no loyalty to nobody. Yeah. Everything is just a stepping stone. Yeah. Point blank period. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I get what you're saying when we when we talked about it that, you know, somebody ain't done nothing to you and, and, and you ain't done nothing to them. Keep me out of it. And that is true right there, too, because some people be petty. Yeah. You, you know, don't tell me how not to just holler at. Well, now, I feel like folks do that to try to control you they and do. manipulate you. So and it's like. Do. What you're not about to do is manipulate me. So right. if Wick got a money plan, Wick got things that he need to do, regardless of how I feel about them folks over there. Right. If you ain't got no issues with them people, you need to go over there and get that goddamn right, money. Right, right, right. But you I will, see what but I'm I, but, I, but, but I will, I still will, 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 if it's something in our lane, yeah. I still want to sit down out of respect with you as my brother and let you know, hey, the ops have hit me over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're not, ki they're not killer ops. Exactly. They're it's just like our regular ops. Yeah, they yeah. might be our competition on yeah. this. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I'm over here. We don't have competition on this, Wick. Oh, oh, absolutely. But, but look, but yeah. look though, now, now, you know, if I Played for the LA Lakers. Yeah. And I'm practicing with the Boston Celtics. You know what I'm saying? Before, hey, before this come out on, on Instagram and Twitter and all y'all, LeBron, let me tell you something. I kick it with uh Jason Tatum and during the summer. Yeah. And my partner. We went to school together. I'm letting you know that. Yeah. So when I come back to LA and, and we get ready to kick the season off, yeah. me and you ain't hooking in the in the in the uh in the dressing room. Cause exactly. you know that type of stuff fester. Yeah. Cause, Cause they ain't gonna take it one time and they be like, nigga, fuck you, nigga, you be over there with Boston, nigga exactly. bitch ass. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what, what you mean? Yeah, don't they, uh, didn't, uh, 
Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce have a little beef with uh, Ray, Ray Allen. Allen about going to Miami about, about the same thing. They feel like you joining the ops. Yeah. So it's easy to say, you know what I'm saying, leave me up out of it. And I, and I get what you were saying yeah. with that. You know, and sometimes that does work if it's not that serious. Yeah. As a as an OG, you shouldn't put your partner yeah. in no, you know, give him an ultimatum about no opposite if it ain't that serious. Mm -hmm. Meaning, don't be telling nigga, hey man, don't don't fuck with that girl down there yeah. just because she wouldn't give you no know, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Now, if you mess with her and she cut all your ties and cussed your mama out <laughs> and had your brother robbed and mm -hmm. you know, you know, I don't want her around me. Oh no. Yeah. Then, you know, she did a lot of bad things to me, yeah. bruh. Then yeah. I expect you to ride with me. Exactly. But not just on because I'm mad because yeah, cause she see, some folks, they like to use that op thing as a way to control you and your life. They do. And as a grown-ass man, I don't want to control nobody's life. And I don't want nobody trying to control Bro, my nah. damn mm -hmm. life. You see what I'm saying? And that's what makes me so angry when I see folks thinking that they can actually tell you what you can do. Right. Well, really, that's just my pet peeve in life, period. Right. I don't like nobody telling me what to do. Right. Okay? Right. My mama put me out because she couldn't tell me what, what the fuck do. to do. She's like, nigga, get out of here because I can't tell you what the fuck to do. <laughs> she beat uh, Miss Hightower, you did a good job. You should have <laughs> put them out right, right when they cut the cord. Well, no, I always... <laughs> I always say I was one whooping away from being Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> one more beating, I would have been Barack Obama. Okay, oh, thank awesome you, Mama Lou. Oh! That is you the worst. <laughs> you are the you worst. Been, uh, so no, I might have been cool. We don't know. But I mean, anyway. But um, yeah, man. So my, my thing is, you know, yeah, they, they you, you know, let the people uh, you know, tell us. Um is my ops your ops? And do you subscribe to you can't rock with the ops of somebody else regardless of if they ain't never done nothing to you wrong at all? And when are the times that you shouldn't rock with the ops? Right. What What's off limits? What's the deal breaker? So you know what? This person did that to B-High, so I can't I can't mess with them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? This certain stuff that right here, B-High say that this person you stole, B-High say somebody stole from him, you know, um, uh, harassed the family, yep. you shot know, at me. shot at you, Any, anything like that right there, you yep. know that I'm, I'm going to say, you know what, okay, my bad. Yeah. I'm riding with you on that. I'm going to tell whoever I can't mess with. Not unless it's, you know, Jay-Z or somebody that give me some money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then, then we're going to be in there and be like, well, you know, I ain't not like B-High anyway. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs>